Hi, my name is Patty Groose, and I have been a member at Davidson United Methodist Church since 1996. Prior to being at Davidson United Methodist Church, I was at a small church outside Winston-Salem where I served as the volunteer children's ministry coordinator for many years. And one of those responsibilities was each Sunday morning to tell a children's sermon, which went in conjunction with the pastor's sermon for that Sunday. And as I was thinking about stewardship, it made me think about all of the children's sermons that were focused on stewardship. Because of course, like most churches, in the fall, we would always have a stewardship emphasis and campaign that coincided with the budget season and also uh, Thanksgiving. So one of the stories that I told one day or one Sunday morning was that there is, and I'll say this, because people have a little bit of a difficulty understanding the concept of giving to God, this was one of the stories that I told. Suppose that I have a whole lot of flowers and there are all these flowers in the front of my yard. And I notice you walking by one day and you are admiring all my beautiful flowers. You're thinking you would like to have some of those flowers for yourself, but you know if you took them, you would be stealing them. But I noticed that you were there and I say, would you like to have some of my flowers? Please feel free to pick all that you would like. So you pick 10 flowers. And before you leave with those 10 flowers, you remember your manners and you stop and you turn around and you hand me a single flower. Now you're giving me this flower, but in reality, you can't give it to me because it wasn't yours to begin with. It was mine. But what you were doing is you are giving back to me as a way to say thank you for letting me pick the flowers that you picked. That is very much the same way that God wants us to focus on stewardship because God has given us so much. Just like I have this abundance of flowers in my front yard, God is rich beyond measure and has so much. He doesn't need our gifts, but what He needs is our gratitude. He needs for us to give back to Him a portion of what He's given to us. We want to say thank you to God. We want to thank Him for all that He's given us. Now, we are stewards of all these things that are gifts from God. Our resources, our gifts, our talents, our time, all of that is a gift from God. He doesn't need any of it but what he does need is for us to say thank you. So what do we do with those resources? What do we do with those gifts? What do we do with those talents? What do we do with our time? Do we take time and spend a portion of it each day, each week, giving it to God? Do we take time to say thank you, God, by serving? Do we take time to go and spend it in worship, in praise, in gratitude? Do we go and serve those in our community who are in need? Or do we use our talents to further the kingdom of God through serving in our church, making sure that others know about the love of Jesus? Do we serve in administrative capacity or do we serve in a way that lets talents and resources be used? It's up to us to have that conversation with God. It's up to us to know what is it that God's calling us to do? How is he calling us to use our gifts and our resources? Because he doesn't need it, but what he does need is for us to say thank you. And the best way to say, say thank you and to show our gratitude is through our giving back, giving back our time, our talents, and our resources. During this season of stewardship, how is God calling us to be good stewards, to manage all the resources that he's given us? Because we are called to be responsible and God does want us to give back to him in love and in gratitude. May we do just that.